We're going to be going over the new Unity Tactical Gas Cap, which is a Surefire Scout Light compatible tail cap and light switch. The gas cap features the new Link USB-C technology, which we'll get into here shortly along with going over some of the specs and a few setups that we've been using these on. So what is the Link system? The Link system uses a USB-C connector to provide a more reliable system that's capable of both higher outputs and a near zero loss output. So what does the near zero loss mean? It means that if you're activating your light via a pressure pad, like this Axon SL Link right here, the output via the pressure pad is going to be the same as if you were activating your light through the tail cap directly. Uh, traditionally, you lose some output when you're activating your light through a pressure pad. So this negates that completely, which is nice to be able to get as much power as we can out of our lights. <coughs> Some of the features that we're going to go into about the gas cap are the weight, redundancies, durability, and modularity. The weight of the gas cap, it comes in at only 0.6 of an ounce. So a traditional tail cap like this, which is a uh, Surefire DS00, that's going to be about 1.5 ounces. So you're saving about an ounce, which saving an ounce off the front of the rifle is definitely always a welcome benefit uh, whenever we can save weight off the front of the rifle, especially when we're adding things like suppressors and lasers and whatnot. Uh, regarding the redundancies of the gas cap, it's both a tail cap and a light switch itself, so it can accept uh, pressure pads like this one, or you can activate it just directly off of the rear. So the built-in rear clicky cap has both constant and momentary options, so you can light press for uh, momentary and hard press for constant. It takes up the entire rear of the cap, which gives you more surface area to activate it, and that's due to the lateral mounted pressure switch, so it's a nice feature about it. Um, the gas cap's made from high impact polymer and it's waterproof up to one meter for 30 minutes. We banged this thing up pretty good and it's, uh, it's been strong. The mounting system is modular, so it has both a lateral and reversible interface. So lateral meaning the uh, switch is mounting this direction. So you reduce all snag hazards coming off the rear or any weird angles that it might come off otherwise. Uh, and it's also reversible here in that the cage, so the tail cap, and we'll show you how this works on a tail cap we have separately, but the tail cap itself uh, screws onto your light body and then you plug in your pressure pad and then you secure this cage around it. And on the cage, you have this channel here, which is a cable man management wire guide. And so that allows you to route your cable either forward or back. That also helps to put some tension on the cable, which is kind of the internal cable management that's built into it, which we found to be really nice on a few different rifles we've put these on. It pretty much negated the use for any third party cable management, because one of the biggest problems with a traditional tail cap is you're plugging your pressure pad right into the rear and so you have the the cable coming off and you want to make sure that gets routed directly to your handguard to reduce any sort of snag hazard because this is laterally mounted the wire is always going to be running right towards your handguard so the snag hazard is greatly reduced with that system so if you're planning to switch over to the gas cap and link system the uh, Pressure pads required are link specific. So we have a category on our website that you can sort through and see the specific pressure pads that will work with the gas cap. Again, these are a USB-C connector. They're not your traditional uh, Surefire type plugs. When you get your gas cap right here, you'll see, uh, again, this is the lateral mounting system that we were talking about. So your link compatible pressure pad is going to plug into that plug right there on the cap and you can see how the wire is oriented sideways. The gas cap includes a cage, which is a two-piece cage, you kind of see it in there, along with a little plug. So if you're not using a pressure pad, you can install that plug into there just to seal the port. But the cage locks around the pressure pad wire itself, and that has the reversible mounting cable management. So you can orient the wire either forward or to the rear, whatever works best for your setup. The uh, switches available currently are the mod button light, the Axon SL, and uh, more switches like the standard Axon are coming down the pipeline. There's a few other uh, variations of each switch available more than what we've shown you here. There's black and FDE of the tail caps, the switches, there's multiple cable lengths, multiple variations, especially with the uh, things like the Axon 
You can get these in a standard variation. This is the Axon SL, and this is a non-sync version, so it has just a single lead that plugs right into the tail cap. They also make these in a sync version that has the uh, crane style laser plug so you could plug it into your laser if you're using a vis laser or something like this so when you hit your light it will activate both your laser and your light uh, the axon the full size axon has two switches and there's again a plethora of options when it comes to what uh, you might want for your specific setup when it comes to those all of this is available on our site at revivaldefense.com if you guys have any questions just shoot us an email or drop us a comment below